The next question is the word picture match question. Here, here you ask your students to match a word, a translation, or a sentence with an image. You first add your question. In this case, I'm asking my students to connect the Dutch translation of the animal with the right image. This means that you have to add pairs to book widgets. You have to add pairs like they are right. So book widgets knows that this is the right answer. And if students connect something else, it will be graded wrong. Click on add and add your pairs. Add the text first, then add the image. You can choose an image from your computer, choose one from your Google Drive, or find an image online. If you click on the image online, you will be connected with the Pixabay image library, and you can just choose a word, and the image will pop up. Choose an image, and it will be loaded into book widgets. Then add other pairs and they will automatically be randomized by book widgets for your students. When you're done, just click on back and then you get an overview of all the pairs you added to book widgets. You can also add distractors. To do this, you can just click on the add and instead of filling out both text and image, you just choose whether to type in just the text or give your students just the image. So I'll just give them the text like this. There are more options right here. Then you can add an explanation, a hint, an audio fragment, image, and so on. And then of course we have the scoring options. Click here to choose the scoring weight of each pair your students match correctly. Go to preview to see how this looks like for your students. So you can see I added a distractor right here. Some students might connect it with an image, but that won't be correct. All the exercises of book widgets also work on smartphones. So in case you're wondering that these images would be a little bit too small, students can always click on them and enlarge them. So they can zoom in and zoom out on them to take a better look. And then they can start connecting the words. So we have a Leo a lion, this is a monkey. Then we're clicking on show answers just to let you know how this is automatically created and how your students will get points. Of course, you can choose that your students have to submit their work first so you can take a look at the work and send back the correction and the grades later on to your students. You can see that this question type is automatically graded, so you can see the green lines. These are the answers that your students have correct. Then we have the red line, so this is a wrong answer, and it is automatically graded with the dotted lines.